Some of y'all might be wondering, well, what's spoken word, black ice, or what do you do? Well, let me give you a, a little example. This is a piece that I wrote called The Elevator. Just check this out and just think about life. There's this elevator, right? It's full of people. Some family, some friends, some strangers. But you're all in the basement. See, the basement represents that brand new idea that was blessed to be manifested in your mind. But by the time you share your idea with 10 people standing in the elevator next to you, some of them get the hell off before the door even closes. Sort of like those so-called friends. The ones who you thought would be there through thick and thin down to the end. Didn't even make it to the first floor. The door closes. The elevator rises. Much to your surprise, you're making progress. The bell rings. You're at the first floor. The door opens and guess what happens next? Those childhood friends, well, they got goals of their own. Time for you to be strong. Because you're going to lose some of these friends during this ride and feel alone. But as they walk out, a few more friends walk in. You started off with 10, and now you're down to eight. Now one of the new friends who just walked in pressed floor two. So you know what that means. The next time the elevator door opens, they'll be going too. But before they left, they introduced you to one of their friends who became your friend. Then y'all became close like Ken. The door opens at floor two. You lose a few, but one man walks in, and he becomes your boyfriend. And now we're down to seven. Now only four out of the seven are the original occupants that you begin with. And all there are two strangers, one cousin, one friend, your mom, one new friend, and a boyfriend. Now the elevator passes floor three. Seems like life is finally looking up. But just as soon as you get comfortable, you're at the fourth floor and a door opens up. You're staring death right in the face. Quickly you step back, he reaches in his arm and unexpectedly, he takes your mom. Everyone in the elevator consoles you. But this takes an emotional toll on you and your relationship. Everything you ever believed in or ever knew about is in doubt. You become so emotionally cold that right before the doors close, your boyfriend walks out. What's to expect by floor five? Now what just happened on the fourth floor was a game changer. But by the time floor five arrives, you would lose one of those strangers. But before he leaves, he whispers to you. There's something that I hope that you see. She said, what's that? That God wants you to go through everything that you're going through in order for you to get to where he wants you to be. He leaves. Four remains. Only one more floor to go. But between the fifth and the sixth floor, you notice something. That other stranger reaches around you and he presses the stop button. Everything is frozen except you and him. He says, okay, it's time for us to talk. Now, I've been here since the beginning, and I've seen everything that happened, and not once did you ever acknowledge me. I even gave you words of comfort when you lost your mind. I thought at that point you would want to get to know me. Look around. Out of the 10 that you started out with, there's only a few. Now, you have a choice or two. You can continue on. Use the experience of what you've been through to help heal, or you can do what you've been thinking. Go in that purse and take those pills. She said, no, I want to leave. Well, then you need to learn how to forgive. She now knew who she was talking to. She takes a deep breath and asks for forgiveness. But he said, I'll forgive you when you learn how to forgive yourself. He pressed the button. The bell rings. The door opens at the sixth floor. To your surprise, your, your ex-boyfriend is standing there. Offer you his hand. You turn right around, look at that man right in the face. It's mine. See, family, all of the many people that come into your life, you're going to lose the majority. Expect for the ones closest to you to disappoint you, let you down, betray you, but don't you change, stay you. And at the end of the day, when you place your family and friends before God, he will remove them to show you that he's a jealous God. And none should be placed before him. Trust him. To know that he will replace everything stolen, restore everything lost, and heal everything back. See, in life, you're going to have some knock downs on the way. But it's not about how many times you get knocked down. It's about how many times you get back up. That's that piece. Go around, baby. Show.
Thank you.